morning lovelies Carla Nicole um, so I had an early morning read this morning um, it's been a while since I've been able to just really read because I've been having a lot of projects going on so I haven't really been able to kind of sit down and pick up my book um, so I just kind of got inspired to uh, jump on here real quick and give you guys some insight about what I read um, first off um, the really cool thing about reading something that you know is going to replenish the soul I think it's important that we don't lose sight of certain things um, and I think that God gives us messages in different ways um, and what I read today actually I'm reading from the book shamanism and personal mastery okay so this is the book that that I um, I ha you know I'm kind of doing fairly well uh, seeing how uh, I don't really have a whole lot of time to really devote to reading but um you know I, I believe that there's signs in life so um, the first thing I um, pulled up this morning was uh, deciding on how much service uh, to give okay um, you know for me my personal mission is to enhance the community um, empower people and encourage people's purpose hey shorty good morning um, and encourage people so um, with that said this really this really hit home today because you know I'm really big about mastery of purpose staying focused on what you're doing and this book is really powerful because it helps you to learn about personal mastery and things of that nature so anyway um, what I love about you know the point of it was you know when you're servicing others um, it's very important that we don't lose sight of servicing others to depletion okay so what I got from this from the read this morning is when you uh, service other people you aid other people you help other people make sure that when you are doing that and you are inspiring people and you are encouraging people that it's not just falling on deaf ears now understand you know we talk to people especially you know with a purpose like mine I realize that I, I'm to inspire people and that's that's my mission but for others it may not be their mission but they have a a gift to encourage or a gift to give someone a different perspective be mindful when you do that because sometimes you can be servicing and encouraging and the person is really not willing to um, allow what you're giving them um, they almost have like a blockade up where they don't really um, receive it or are receptive to what you're encouraging this is very depleting for the person servicing because when you're servicing and you're encouraging and you're giving people um, new insight and new life into their life um, you want to make sure that you're not doing it to the point of depletion of self now here's the reason why I bring this up it's as if you have like look outside your, your, your backyard for instance and you have grass or seeds that's in the backyard <clears throat> and you plant it and there's no green coming from that but you keep watering it every day every day every every day and the the grass is just brown after so long you're like man I'm doing all this you know encouraging with this water I'm putting fertilizer on it I'm doing everything I possibly can do and nothing is growing from this grass it's the same with crops well crops are also people <laughs> you know what I'm saying crops are also people so if you are giving and investing and encouraging people and you don't see a light going off inside them that's showing you that what you're pouring into them is something that is enlightening them then you may want to back off and perhaps put your effort somewhere else that's what I got from that book this morning and it's powerful because, you know, we say enlighten it all the time. Enlighten someone. I've been enlightened. Do you realize the word light is inside that word? So enlightenment means that you have a light that beams in your soul. 
and when you have a light beaming in your soul it's supposed to encourage and inspire you to make an action towards whatever is 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 beaming in you and i think what's hard about you know someone like me that that loves servicing and loves encouraging and loves doing for others um, one of the hardest things for me to deal with that is not being able to just say you know what this grass is not growing <laughs> this plant is not growing this person is not growing you know um i'm horrible with plants let me just tell you guys right now i i suck at plants and growing them i have tried everything in my power to do good with plants and i just don't have that talent i don't care what i do however um i don't have a bunch of dead leafed plants in my home i just get artificial i know those i don't have to water and try to care for because i know that i just don't have the gift of having a green thumb so with that said you know um when we are pouring into people we want to make sure that it's it's really inspiring them um, and I think it's important for those of us, even if you're friends to people or, you know, or even family, if you encourage them and it just falls on deaf ears and you've been doing it for years and years and years and you're just not seeing anywhere, shape or form where they're taking what you're saying and encouraging and really taking those words and allowing them to penetrate in their soul and then making a movement towards improvement or towards resolution or towards something that they, you know, can be beneficial to them and you keep doing it, you're going to exhaust yourself. And so, you know, the power of personal mastery is being able to know when you're just not pouring um, all this fertilizer and water on people and they're just not receptive to it. It will exhaust you. You know, and so I just wanted to come on here and tell you um, one of the beautiful things about life is you can learn. I am a wisdom coach. I coach a lot of people. I encourage a lot of people. I, I have helped many people. And I have also, um, you know, inspired others. I've helped people in their marriages and all those other things. So I am a wisdom coach. But with that said, even though I am a wisdom coach... I also still have to learn from other people. I also am still studying, regardless of if I'm a coach or not. I still have to be grounded. I still have to be taught. I still have to have self-accountability. Because regardless if I'm a coach or not, I still have my Heavenly Father to be accountable to. And if we're not honest in that and we don't seek to impress our heavenly father or our spiritual guide or whatever you believe in if you don't have a desire to please your spiritual guide and your purpose then you know that's just not feasible for you in your life so it's very important that we focus on how we should be mindful that when people are in your life i don't care if it's family i don't care if it's friends i don't care if it's it could be anybody. We need to be mindful that when we are pouring into those people, that they are valuing what we're pouring, that they are taking it to heart, that they're actually listening to you. Because you could be talking to people and pouring them all kinds of good stuff and it goes whoop, right over their head or, or through one ear and out the other. And you're like, I gave you some valuable information here. One of the powerful things about um, one of my um, Facebook friends, he is, I had given him um, some encouragement, very happy to see his growth. Um, and I, you know, once I drop something to someone and encourage them, I don't sit over top of them and police them and see, well, what are you doing? And are you doing what I said? And all that. I'm not that, I'm not that type of coach. I'm just a coach that encourages and I move on and, you know, hopefully you get it. And then if you do, I'll know. And so, for instance, there is one of the guys that I coach, and I'm seeing him grow, and I'm seeing him inspired, and I'm seeing him making different moves, and he's, he's on a mission to get to his peace. And so when you see that, it's like, you valued what I said. That's powerful. 
that makes it worth it. That means he's a plant that I'm willing to keep watering. Because why? That person is valuing what I'm telling them. They're using it to their advantage. They're now inspired to continue that. You know, there's nothing more gratifying to, to seeing someone blossom after something you've told them to do. Or encouraged them to do. Or inspired them to do. And you see the growth. So I just wanted to come on here, lovelies. You know, it's Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. I'm so glad that you're here. Thanks, Talent Coach. I appreciate you so much. Olary, good to see you. Freddie, Rory Mack. Hey, and thanks for sharing. You know, um, but just remember, just because you feel accomplished in life, continue reading. Continue being inspired. Continue being a student of life. Continue... Um, seeking to find what your whys, you know, seek different perspectives. Because remember, I said recently that just because you have a mindset, because your mindset might not be the right mindset for you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We might need to say, you know what, I think I might need to change this thinking because it's not really beneficial to me. And when you see that, it's like, okay, you know what? I've gotten to the point where I understand that it's better for me to just um, change how I see something. And perspective is key when you do that. Um, so it's very important. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Listen, don't forget to join me Sunday um, at 12 noon. You know, I have a live show called Live with Carla Nicole. Um, and I want you guys to come, man. It's going to be awesome. Um, you know, we are going to talk about... Uh, you know, how important it is in this lifetime to just because you're alone doesn't mean you have to be lonely. And I think a lot of times we get so caught up in thinking, well, I'm alone and it's, it's, it's lonely and it's grim and, you know, I don't have anybody and all that. We can do something more than that. Matter of fact, this is the time to really encourage yourself while you don't have an obligation to someone else. It, it It's the perfect time to get replenished so like i said sunday join me i'm going to have a beautiful poet on she's going to join me and she's going to talk about her poem that she wrote about the pillow fight she had after getting out of a relationship and how many people single and alone struggle with uh their sleep patterns after getting out of relationships and um She's going to talk about what inspired her poem, um, and her name is Carrie, Carrie Conley, and um, she's a poet, and she's going to talk to us, and, and we're going to just vibe. So I hope you guys can and can be there. It'll be 12 noon um, Eastern Standard Time, okay? So again, this book, I, I encourage you guys to grab it. It's an awesome book. It's called Shamanism and Personal Mastery. Grab this book. It's really good. It really encourages people to... Um, basically find the power inside you and um it, it's a powerful book so um i'm out of here guys i hope you have a wonderful weekend and i hope to see you guys sunday all right it's carla nicole signing off best kept have a good day